What is going on everyone? Today we have the 2021 Ram TRX, long anticipated. So today we're just gonna take a quick walk around of the vehicle. I'm gonna show you some of the details, the specs, and uh, driving impressions are embargoed until later on, but be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you do not miss the driving impressions. So right away, taking a look up front, look at how wide this front end is. So you got a nice wide track. They even moved the front axle forward. In this hood, we've got vents, we've got the hood scoop, which is a functional hood scoop, and the marker lights because of how wide the vehicle is. Aside from the hood scoop, you actually have see-through letters, so you've got a lot of airflow going through there, the vent, to help get this 6.2 liter supercharged engine to breathe. You've got powder-coated bumpers, big tow hooks up front, full LED headlights, the accent lighting, just like the other Rams, and even adaptive lights on here. So this is like a high-end, off-road machine led fog lights as well one of the most impressive things is the hourglass design you can see just how big these fenders are you get eight extra inches of width with the fenders and those are composite fender flares on the side and tucked right underneath there we even have beadlock wheels optional if you want the other trx that i'm going to show you later does have the beadlock wheels and you get these exclusive tires so they're 18 inch wheels with Wrangler Territory 35 inch tires developed exclusively for this TRX. Got some vents over here coming from the front or a little curtain as well. And you've got a choice of uh, high profile running boards or uh, some rock sliders. So that is up to you of what you want. Now moving to the back, you can get the TRX badge on them. The other TRX that I'll show you has that. Got LED tail lights, TRX badge, Ram badge, whacked out writing and then check out this exhaust you've got dual tip five inch exhaust down here and it sounds fantastic aside from that full-size spare tire under there the other trx comes with a full-size spare in the bed obviously the bed is nothing special but it is what it is and you can get that full-size spare in the bed if you want now under the hood pop this up you see a lot of plastic which was kind of surprising but it's kind of at least a nice trx plastic badge and when you pull that back out of the way, look at this. What do y'all think of that? T-Rex eating a Raptor, maybe it looks like. That's kind of bold by, by Ram, but still a lot of plastic here, but it is still a very impressive powertrain with that Hellcat engine. 6.2 liters, supercharged, Hemi V8, 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. Thrust this baby zero to 60 in four and a half seconds, which isn't mind-blowing, but that moves for a big truck like this. Obviously, it's really sweet to see that Hellcat engine in this TRX, but that is not all that Ram did. They could have just put a Hellcat engine in this truck and said, that's good enough. We put a Hellcat engine in it, but Ram went above and beyond with the engineering, the structural components, and the suspension components of this TRX to truly compete with the Raptor, and they wanted to surpass the Raptor. So you can be the judge of that. But in the other video, the next video with more detail, I'll be able to show you more of this truck, real driving impressions, taking it a little bit off road as well on certain obstacles and show you more actual driving footage, which I can't do right now. But let me tell you a little bit about it. First of all, it does have the largest air filter in the segment for extreme dust trapping capacity. Its engineering and suspension is completely upgraded. It's got a two inch extra ride height over the regular Ram for almost 12 inches of axle ground clearance. It has a new thicker frame of high strength steel that truly amplifies its durability and stability, an upgraded transfer case, an all new unique suspension that still has independent front suspension with active damping and even special attention to the caster and camber angles, a Dana 60 solid rear axle that's electronic locking and exclusive two and a half inch Bilstein shocks which we'll talk more about later, and more than 13 inches of ground clearance or 13 inches of wheel travel at all four corners, plus some skid plates underneath. 
So obviously they have done a lot. And again, I'll give you some more details. There's so much to know about this truck and so much that Ram put into it. And I'm excited to show you more later on, but let's go ahead and check out the interior. Now taking a quick look inside, Ram still gives you some nice comfortable seats. You've got the TRX lettering on there. Got some suede material on the inside. Seats can be heated and ventilated as well. So that's nice to see, even though this is an off-road beast, including four-way lumbar control. Ram was seriously not messing around. You've got nice material up here, up there, nice armrest, just like the other Rams that you're gonna see, even memory settings. And the steering wheel is even a little bit special. You've got this TRX steering wheel with the flat bottom, SRT inspired, some nice material all around, and some pretty bulky grips on here. You can see your paddle shifters back there and all the regular controls. Foot on the brake. The center gauge is the same, but it does say TRX up there. Ram also gives you a really nice interior, just quality wise in terms of the materials, the layout, nice materials all around. Same big 12 inch screen on here. The TRXs are gonna vary a little bit depending on what you get. There's different equipment packages, but check this out. So you've got um, your drive modes on here. In automatic, you can see it kind of keeps everything in regular. Uh, sport mode, gonna change the way all that goes. And like I said, driving impressions are embargoed at the time of this video. Over here, TRX, you can toggle through the modes here, and that's just gonna shift everything on there so you don't have to actually touch the screen. And then check this out, your four-wheel drive controls. This is a full-time four-wheel drive, so it's always gonna be here. Otherwise, you could do high and low, lock your axle, and then launch control, and check that out, little drag strip lights on there. So that is pretty cool. So Ram's center console here is a little bit different than the last couple that I showed you because this is not a sliding piece. You still have nice materials here. You've got a spot for your phone, some charging ports, a nice shifter, cup holders, kind of the same setup. It just doesn't slide, but you've got a big storage bin down there. Then you've got another tier up here with a soft liner. And then this softly lined again right here, like a suede Alcantara type material and then check out the TRX badge on here as well. So Ram seriously outdid themselves. They didn't just throw a Hellcat engine in there. They didn't just <laughs> make it fast. They seriously just added a lot and made it really nice. And now for 2021, Rams can give us this digital mirror as well. Check that out. So you've probably seen this before, but look at that. You can see a direct camera behind you. The back seat is also a nice place to be. I won't spend much time here, but Nice material, nice material, nice armrest. So Ram definitely didn't have to do that, but they did. And like the upper trims of the Rams, this has those reclining seats with the lever under here. So I pulled it out and as you can see how much further out that seat bottom is. So you've got a reclining second row and then all the space and amenities that you're used to, like heated and ventilated rear seats. Thank y'all so much for watching this quick walk around of this 2021 Ram TRX. Hope you enjoyed it. Wish I could have shown you more, but subscribe and stay tuned for driving impressions and off-road impressions coming up soon.